Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's Beer Reviews. And this one we're looking at Miller Genuine Draft MGD. So, um, wee bit of backstory. When I first went on my beer adventure, there's the bottle cap. This was the first beer that I basically loved. Um, so, um, you know, flashback to when to when I was 18, first loving beer, this would be in my fridge every weekend. Miller, genuine draft, absolutely loved it. Still do, but unfortunately, you can't get a hold of this beer in Asda or Tesco anymore. You used to be able to, but now you can't. I actually picked up a six pack of this stuff in my local off license. Um, because, no, you can't get it in Asda and Tesco anymore. I don't know why. If anybody knows why I can't get Miller Genuine Draft in Asda or Tesco anymore, please let me know, please let me know down below because I want to know why it's not available in Asda and that anymore. Um, four times filtered for exceptional smoothness. Contains barley. That's all it says, contains barley, that's it. Okay then, I think there's more than barley in it. 330ml, alcohol 4.7% volume, no genuine draft, premium, pasteurised beer, brewed in the Czech Republic for Molson Coors Brewing Company in UK. Yeah, 4.7% by volume. And in the back there, we have the we signature from Frederick Miller, right there. And there's the bottle. I think the, in the United States, the artwork of the bottle has actually been updated now. So, straw appearance, straw, white head. There's a hint of a, there's a hint of sweetness in the smell. Corn, corn syrupy. <clears throat> Let's just go for tasty, shall we? So, cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Miller Genuine Draft MGD. Cheers. <sighs> Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. No, oh, I love that. Absolutely love that taste. Wow, it's just like I remember that being when I was eighteen. I don't think that's ever changed. Lovely. Um, so you're getting a lovely smooth. It starts off lovely smooth. It's cold. It's been in the fridge for ages. It's ice cold actually. Ice cold. Um, it's been in the fridge for a good while. It's so smooth. It's ridiculously smooth, guys. Um, so tasty. Lovely mouthfeel on it. Lovely body to it. Why did Asda and Tesco get rid of that? I'll never understand that. And there's a wee look at the six pack. There's a six pack there. This bloody bottle of Stada Pramming just fell. <laughs> um, just after doing a review of that, so check out my review on this. Um, yeah, this is a six pack here. No. Let me put it up there along with the Schwitz and the. Uh, oh, wait, the Miller pack's already up there. <laughs> I forgot about that. There's a Miller pack already there. That was from the last time I reviewed it. I reviewed this back in. If you look back, you'll, you'll see it unless I've took it down now. Um, but I've done a review of this back in April of 2021. Um, 
and it was 20 minutes long or something. And it was and I was in my house coat when I was doing it. I'm like, no, that's not happening. I'll I'll, 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 I'll read it. I'm going to redo it. So yeah, there's a six pack. <laughs> Uh. These things are actually handy to keep by because say you've been invited out to your mate's house and you want to bring some beers with you keep that aside and then you can put some random beers in it and just carry it up you know just put some random beers in it and you just carry it up to the house um, anyway <laughs> um, oh, geez, I'm drink of this Mmm. Mmm. Uh. Fucking brilliant, man. Genuine draft. Does it taste like a draft beer? Yes. In my opinion, it tastes like a draft beer. I absolutely love Miller. It's a shame that Asda and Tesco supermarkets in the United Kingdom have n are no longer selling this. I mean, why? What the fuck? You sell Bud White, but you're not going to sell that. That's brilliant. Honestly, I think it's amazing. I really do. Sweet, lovely, sweet malt. What do I love about it? I love, I love the texture. I love the, I love the mouthfeel of the beer. And um, it's got like a, it's got a medium body to it. And um, there's a lovely corniness about it. And a sweet malt. It's all very smooth. It is smooth. It says 14 filtered for exceptional smooth smoothness. It is. It is exceptionally smooth. Mm mm. Lovely malt. Wow, oh, it's just amazing, man. This was the beer that I first fell in love with, and I'm falling in love with it again. <laughs> I really do love this beer. This is one of my favourite beers, honestly. Yeah, I like Hobgoblin and my IPAs and my craft beers, but see that? Oh, my opinion is never going to change in this beer. It's still top grade. It's that lovely malt, it's that lovely sweet character in there. Malty character, sweet. It's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Sweet malt. And it's a really strong crispiness about this beer as well. It's really crispy too. First quenching as well, man, you know, it's first quenching. <laughs> so what's my final score on this? In fact, artwork of the bottle. Yeah, I like it. It's unique. I see it. It says like a 9.5 out of 10 for the artwork. I like how on the back there, it's not got anything there, which is straight up like America. If you go to America, um, they don't have labels on the back of the bottles usually. Um, I don't know why. It's you, the information is usually on the neck wrap. So... In this case, they put that in the back, which I think is cool. That work deserves a 9.8 out of 10. Just for that wee fact there, that's what a wee Easter egg kind of thing. Frederick Miller. Frederick Miller. And it has information on the neck wrap as well. So, awesome stuff on the ball. Delicious man. <laughs> right, so now, final grade. Oh, that waffle, man. I'm gonna have one more. I'm gonna have another one after this video. So <laughs> my god, I'm gonna start drinking Miller again, ain't I? I can only get six packs from the waffle since I can't get it in UK supermarkets anymore. If someone knows what's up with that, comment down below. Because I want to know why, man. <laughs> Um, my final score of Miller Genuine Draft, aka MGD. I'm gonna give this a straight up fucking nine point nine point eight out of ten. Nine point eight out of ten for Miller Genuine Draft, guys. Nine point eight out of ten for this one. I really love it. I really do. It's amazing. So. Um, thank you guys for watching this beer review. Thank you for watching Jordy's beer reviews. Peace, love, happiness to all. Um, you know, 
if you want to if you want to be a part of Jordy's Den, all you gotta do is subscribe. That's all. Um, you know, I do some virtual pub lives here and there. Um, I might go live tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, you can expect some beer review. A lot. Of, you can expect mostly beer reviews on this channel. But um, I'll do the odd game review. I'll do some missions in GTA games and stuff. I'll do some some games reviews. I might show off my vinyl collection and that. I've got some stuff for the channel that I'm going to put up. But this one is most. This channel here is mostly dedicated to beer reviews. Jordy's Beer Reviews, that's this channel. So yeah, peace, love, happiness to all. Catch you guys in the next one. Um, goodbye.